Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your May 2023 career and finance reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see. And this is for what do you need to know about your career or your business? Let's see what you need to know. Starting off with... Okay, this is the Princess of Summer. So that would be like the Page of Cups. And we have here... Let me read this. So we have sensitive kind <clears throat> open-hearted inexperienced dear you can expect to rekindle a new romantic relationship or close platonic friendship you may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event and also with the page of cups this could be um you know that you gotta trust your vibes um and there's a message of hope coming for as far as your business or your work let's see we have here the angels are over you this is um angels watch over you so know that the angels are watching you I'll just put this right here and get a page of cups and we have four of spring i love it so it's like four of wands otter so this says it's time to kick back relax and celebrate all that you have Joy arises from success in your career, the completion of a project, or a very happy home life. Okay, so if you're happy, you know, that goes to say, you know, whatever you have in your life, you're going to get more of it. So if you appreciate what you have, you'll get more of that to appreciate. So um, let's see, we have Prince of War Winter. Is a, this is Prince of Winter is, what's it say here? It cannot read these fonts because they're white. Let's see. Decisive, focus, driven, impulsive. Thoroughbred horse. Get ready for progress to speed up. The situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotions and make your decisions quickly. So this would be um, the Knight of Swords. Something happened quickly here. So you might have to make a decision quickly. There's going to offer come in and you might have to decide on it right away. It's saying because things are going to spring forward. All right. So let's clarify. So why do we have the Princess of Summer here? Ooh, we have the Death card. Scorpio energy. Something. There's a major transformation going on for you in your career, your work. So there's major changes. There's like a, I don't know what I'm saying, like a revamping. There's um, a transformation in you too. So there's a major transformation. There's an ending for a rebirth, or a transformation, major, major change. Is what I'm getting here. So with the death card, it's um, it's blessings in disguise. It might be tough, but it's going to be blessings in disguise. So what about the four of spring? Why is the four of spring here? Let's see. We have here the eight of pentacles. Yes, yeah, it has to do with your work here. So with the eight of pentacles, it's um, you know, you might be eager to learn, or this might be telling you to um, take some classes or workshop or hone your craft. And that will help you. But it's also a heavy focus on your work. Okay, now why do we have the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Four of Pentacles. Okay, if you're planning to make take an action or move to something, I would say, as when I do the work ones here, keep it to yourself. Don't tell the people about it. Um, with the Four of Pentacles, it's like... Um, Someone might be afraid of change, but, you know, if you're going to move, you're going to make a change, don't let other people know. Okay, let's see. What can you do to move forward? Unity. Okay, this is the Hierophant card. We have the Polar Bear here. So the Polar Bear, it's embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. You may feel called to act as a mentor, find a new teacher, or spend time with others who are also on a sacred path. So you're tapping into your spirituality here. I said it's also higher than Taurus energy. Commitment, um, higher learning, higher education. Um, yes, yeah, let's see. Then we have the nine of winter, which is this is being someone being fearful here. Insomnia, worried about something here. With the nine of swords, it's um 
victim mentality, clouded judgment. You know, sometimes, I mean, sometimes people just like to play the victim. They want the attention. Okay, here we are. Sea lion. Um, your worries and fears aren't real. They're fueled by focusing on the negative, which gives power to that which you are afraid of. Stop worrying, let go of fear, and everything will be okay. That's it. The more you think about it, the more you're going to bring it in. So you have to stop thinking about what you're fearful of and think about what you want and what you want to create here, and you'll get more of that. Okay, and then we have here the Princess of Spring, which would be the Page of Wands. Did I put a charm on this guy? No, no charm in here? Oh, I need a charm here. Put a charm on this Knight of Swords. We have, oh, I have a heart with the infinity symbol. There might be someone coming in here, Knight of Swords, with love for you that they have for eternity. <laughs> might be a past life comeback. Okay, so now with this Princess of Spring, we have energetic, outgoing, optimistic, and creative. So Monarch Butterfly, Creative opportunities that you feel passionate about are fluttering your way. Personal growth and broadening horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. Okay. So, that would be the page of wands. So, there might be some information offer coming to you, too. And we have here. Ooh, we have a lizard. or um, This is like change. There's definitely a change coming in. I say get ready for change. Shedding someone's old skin to something new here. Okay. Now let's clarify. Why do we have a unity card here with the polar bear? Why is that here? And we have the king of swords. Okay, so this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Okay, the king of swords. Okay, we have here the zombie. Someone coming back from the dead. This is some, bringing something back here. Someone might be trying to reunite with you, bring unity into situations. This could be someone coming back from a previous job or someone trying to call you back. This is because you're very intelligent, very educated. and um, But the king of, king of swords is swift and fair and has very high standards. So it also could be that you need to keep your standards high and not fall into anybody else's. If they're trying to bring you down or something, don't fall into that. Okay, King of Swords. What about this Nine of Winter? Whenever the Eight or Nine of Swords comes up, and this is Nine of Swords, it's saying that you're worrying about something, that you're creating something that is not there. So let's see. We have the Eight of Wands. Things are going to start moving quick here. Communication, projects, things taking off. So be ready because things are going to start really taking off for you. Going to get real busy. Um, but it's also good news. It also, you might be traveling for business or there's communication coming towards you really quickly here. And what about this Princess of Spring? It could be coming from this Princess of Spring here. We have, see again, Eight of Swords. Someone is, is stuck in their head about things. They're making things worse than they are. They're creating, so almost you're holding yourself back. And I said, what is this with this girl? It's almost like you're holding yourself back. You can get out of this, but you got to stop thinking in a negative way. Okay, so now, how can you be more financially successful? Let's see. So we have Ace of Autumn, Grace, Ace of Pentacles. This is a golden opportunity. Be in the right place at the right time. This is um, Calico Cat. You can expect a windfall abundance such as money, timely assistance, or serendipitous meeting or rewarding advice. You may be offered a fabulous new job or promotion or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment. Okay, so you're going to have an opportunity comes in here that's going to be really good. I don't know why I'm taking a charm. Okay, then we have here... The Four of Autumn. So this would be Four of Pentacles. Keeping things to yourself. You've got a new opportunity here. Don't let other people know about it. I'm going to read what this card said, but I'm getting more of the energy. It's keeping things to yourself. So we have Squirrel. Be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing, seeing things black and white terms. Consider, for example, whether you are spending too much versus hoarding your wealth or giving too much emotionally versus building walls and keeping people out. So either you're holding back or you're or you're holding back too much or you're giving too much out. So um, try to find a balance here. Okay, now we have the Dreamer. Okay, so this is a Fool card. This is the Aries Aquarius energy. This is um, Shepherd Puppy. 
you are starting a new adventure. Run free and take a leap of faith. So this is saying something new is coming in for you. Keep it to yourself. Do what you need to do here. But it looks like a new business, new opportunity. Look, I, I picked up the card. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have. Let's see. What about this Ace of Pentacles? Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Okay, so this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. And um, with the Queen of Cups, it's like, you know, do what you love. Because that's what the Queen of Cups does. The Queen of Cups is content in life. It's finding the purpose. And money isn't everything. It's doing what you love and then money will come. Okay, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. We have the star. This will make you could make you famous or it'll make you really happy or wish your dreams will come true if you do what you love. Okay. Now, what about the four of autumn? We have here the five of wands, competition, battles, arguments, struggles here. Um, the five of wands is too much drama, too much too many challenges. And that's why you're holding back or not, you know, giving or something because there's too much going on here. What about the dreamer? New beginnings, new starts. What's going on with that? We have your two of pentacles balancing things out. You might be have to be more adaptable or you might be juggling a lot here with the two of pentacles. It's um, multi multitasking. It could be a fluctuation of money too. Maybe too if you're starting something new, it might be up and down with the money. Okay, for the beginning, for the start of it. Okay, now, where or what do you need to improve? Okay, so we have here the star. Look at that. So your hopes and wishes and dreams are coming true. You got to stay positive. So we have the Oreo. You are about to take a big leap forward with your life. Worry will be replaced with optimism. Fear with hope and joy is coming home to roost. Okay. Now, what else do we have here? Let's see. We have three of summer. Okay, hummingbird. So this is um, a celebration. The hummingbird. Sorry about that. Someone's opened the garage door. Um, you have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, a wedding, a graduation, a birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. This also could be coming in for you. Is um, This could be a business meeting, too, with the Three of Cups. It could be bonuses. It could be a work celebration. Okay, and then we have the Prince of Spring, which would be the Knight of Wands. And we have here um, passionate, charismatic, confident, and restless. Okay, so dolphin. An opportunity arises that needs your attention right away. Moving quickly is important. Yet there's nothing you can handle if if you follow your inner guidance. Okay, now let me put a charm on this one. For the oh, we have the Eiffel Tower. So this could be something you guys could be French. This could be in France. Speak French, something French to it. Okay, maybe you're going on vacation to France. Okay, let me get the Knight of Wands. Okay. Now let's clarify. Okay, why is the star here? Why is the star here? We have the Six of Wands. There's a victory here. You might be in the spotlight. So maybe it's just adjusting to the fact that you might be getting a lot of attention. Because where do you, where do you, or what do you need to improve? Well, you have the Star. You have the Six of Wands. I don't know what you need to improve here. You have the Three of Summer. Celebration here. Maybe just accepting that this is coming in for you. You know, if you... But here we have like negative cards of negative thinking. If you think positive, this will come in for you. If you think negative, it won't. Could we create our own reality? Okay, we have the four of swords. Take a vacation. Take a time out. This needing to rest here. Needing to um, think about something. Maybe um, you need to sleep on it. You might be a little frustrated or something. Okay, what about this Prince of Spring? And we have here the four of wands. Yes, commitment. There's something coming in here for you. I really like this. The four of wands is deals, partnership, 
committed to a goal. This is coming could be with this Knight of Wands. Okay, so now, what or whom is the obstacle you need to overcome? We have here the King of Spring. Okay, so this could be someone maybe very demanding or powerful or a leader here. This could be your boss. Aries Leo Sagittarius. We have here inspiring, um, dramatic, ambitious, wise. And they have Katanga Lion. Now's your moment to step up to the leadership role. Don't back away and from the spotlight as your plans will be successful so long as you stay focused upon the big picture okay so maybe the obstacle is that someone wants to give you a leadership role someone wants to put you in charge and maybe you're you don't want to do it and they're saying you can do it okay then we have here eight of winter which is the eight of swords here you're not trapped see this bird this bird is right in the doorway of the cage feeling that it's trapped it's not trapped it's your imagination. So it's over here. Bunting. It's so easy to convince yourself that you're trapped when you really aren't. Trust that God will lift you to new heights and give you greater self-confidence to affirm your freedom. Yeah, this is it. Someone, whoever I'm really tapping into is really keeping themselves in a feeling of lack or a feeling I can't do or a feeling that they're, they're worse off than they are. And they're creating it for themselves because it's not there. Okay. Now we have here. Princess of Autumn. So this would be the Page of Pentacles. Cheerful, reliable, intelligent, um, mischievous. Tabby Cat. A wonderful opportunity related to your work or education, such as a promotion or scholarship, is coming your way. Seize the chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding, uplifting career. There's an opportunity coming your way if you want it. If you don't want it, then, you know... You can pass it by, but it's coming. Okay, we have your elephant memories, something from the past. Okay, let's do the Princess of Autumn. Okay, now we'll clarify. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? The Tower. Okay, so maybe when this offer comes in or this obstacle, whatever it is that you feel like it's overwhelming, it's going to shock you or shock someone. It's going to be a surprise. Aries Scorpio energy. What about this eight of winter? Why is the eight of winter here? Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. There's an opportunity, a golden opportunity coming in. This is being in the right place at the right time. You can do this if you want it. For those of you that are willing and able and everything's easy here, that, that this eight and nine of swords does not belong to you but it's for the people that are doubting or having fear you know they're creating those um energies there but there is a golden opportunity here with the ace of pentacles a secure offer something that is destined for you but you might be preventing it by feeling that you can't do something here okay what about the princess of autumn empress oh my god the most abundant card in the deck you have the opportunity here to be really financially stable. This is abundance. This is financial abundance. Libra Taurus energy. Um, this is starting a new business, starting a new career. This is money coming to you, being very creative, using your creativity here, giving birth to something. Uh, it also could be, for some of you, it could be a pregnancy. This could be news of coming in about a pregnancy or you're hearing about someone else being pregnant. But I would say the Empress is saying it's your energy. You're coming into this the energy of the empress amazing that's great okay so now what is coming in in their future okay we have the ace of summer so dove this is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you it may be the first blush of romantic love the rebirth of a current relationship or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights. So there's something coming in for you. The aces. I mean, you're getting the aces here. This is beautiful. Ace of summer. Ace of cups. We have here the six of autumn. Nice. 
you know, the six of wands, if you want it alone, it's coming in. If you want this, this could also be a bonus or it could be um, a raise, a helping hand. But okay, so the six of autumn on here is Kiwi. Your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts, acquire wise loans, or receive a great or grant or scholarship in return for heaven's blessings. Be sure to share the wealth with others through donations of time or money or to reputable charities. You're going to have enough to spare. Okay, and then we have the renewal. So this would be like judgment. Um, number 20. So raccoon. It's time to get clarity on what your life purpose, um, not clarity about your life purpose, and make changes that you're on the path most divinely suited to you. Forgive what has been without judgment, and fiercely embrace what's to come. That is nice. Okay, so now let's clarify these. Why do we have the Ace of Summer, Ace of Cups? Let's see. The Page of Wands. Okay, so there's some news coming in for you. There's some kind of offer coming in. And with the Page of Wands, it's also a new position. Um, it's a breath of fresh air. It's a creative project. Something new is coming that you're going to love. Whatever it is, it could be, a, could be a love offer too. But there's news coming. There's communication coming. We have here, the angels are sending this. Beautiful. The Page of Wands. Okay, what about the Six of Autumn? What about the Six of Autumn? And then we have the moon, Pisces energy, something hidden, secrets, something, um, or something being revealed, maybe. A lot of emotions. Fear. Someone may have fear of something here, but this is coming in that things are going to balance out. What about the um, renewal here? Five of cups, someone's afraid of, um, someone's regretting a loss or something they should have could have would have done they're not seeing the possibility they have dealing with someone that has a very negative attitude and most of you guys aren't that but it's pushing this because someone could have achieved a great success that's why i'm getting pushed to go on that it's not going to be for all of you but for whoever needs it really needs to hear it over and over and over again because they don't get it um that they are not where they think they are they are creating something that really is not there so that's not good okay so let's see what or whom is helping you we have here the world. Yeah, you're completing a cycle to start something new here. And we have the Shetland Sheepdog. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You made it through the challenge and incorporated the lessons life offer you with grace and courage. Nice. Okay. Oop. So endings, new beginning, new, ending a cycle to start something new. And then we have here two of winter. So this will be the two of swords. Dash hound doggy. Procrastination and worry what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. If you're torn between your own desires and someone else's, follow your inner guidance. Yes, if you're not, you know, trust your intuition. <laughs> and then we have the five of winter. Okay, here again, I, I said there's so much opportunity. There's so much I could, that someone could achieve here. But they keep on going back to the negative almost feel like I'm tapping into someone's energy that they want the pity. They want the pity party. They want everybody to feel sorry for them. When really, they're creating this in order to get the pity. And that's pretty sad. Okay, so now the five of winter. Collie dog. Your current path isn't leading you towards the happiest possible outcome. So why not change it? Always maintain integrity and compassion. But be alert to the hidden agendas of others. Okay, that's what the five of winter which is a five of swords which the five of swords is also a card of you know poor leadership bullying behavior workplace conflict so that might be helping you by having this workplace conflict because what or whom is helping is to push you out of where you're you are because maybe you're not supposed to be there so things are changing and they're going to change because if you don't make a move the universe will make it for you okay so why is the world card here why is the world card here? We have here four of cups. A missed opportunity might be coming back around because you you um, missed it. Because this is what's helping you. Or, or maybe you're bored at work so that you can move. And we have here the seven of pentacles. Reevaluating. Looking at things over and over again. Um, 
you know, taking a second look. You need to um, change your plans. Um, reassessing your goals, maybe. So why is the two of winter here? The Nine of Cups, your hopes and wishes and dreams are coming true if you move, if you do something. if You, you have to make a move. I'm feeling for someone here. Whoever is procrastinating or whoever is having that pity party, it's time for you to move and not wait for this or wait for that or, you know, it's time to do something. Uh, but again, this is a general reading, but I don't know who I'm getting told to, to say this to, but I feel like someone really needs to hear it. But again, this is it's not a personal reading. It's a general reading. You'll know if it feels like really right to you that you had to hear this because otherwise I know others are going to be getting annoyed and say, I do that. I do that. I know what I want. I do that. I, then it's not meant for you that I'm saying that. Okay, so now um, the possible outcome. Let's see. Possible outcome here. What is a possible outcome? We have here the Ten of Spring. So Ten of Springs, Ten of Wands. There's going to become an ending to the burdens here. And with St. Bernard Dog, you're working far too hard and the stress will soon become too much. Reach out for help from others and take some time to play and enjoy life. So, you know, take the, take the help that other people offer you too. Don't deny it. Because then you're just, you're putting yourself in that predicament. Some people offer you help and you don't take it. That's, you know... You're the one who's doing to you, not someone else. <laughs> Let's see here. We have King of Winter. Okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Intellect. Well, sorry. In intelligence. Impartial. Respected. Unemotional. Humpback will. At this time, it's very important that you communicate clearly. Be objective and unemotional and act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert you can find. Now, this a lot of time the king of winter is king of swords. Could be a lawyer. Could be a judge if that's what you need here. Let me see. We have here the turtle. You know, the turtle has home on its back. It also withdraws when it gets scared, pulls in. So if that makes sense to you. They also move pretty slowly, too. So let's see. King of Winter. Then we have here the Strength card. You have the Strength. You can do whatever you need to do here. Leo Energy. So it's Messiah, Messiah, Lion, and Lamb. True strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, compassion. You have tremendous personal power and courage. You can do whatever you need to do. And we have the Seven of Winter. Okay, Magpies. For the Magpie, Caution will help you. Avoid the loss of valuables, including non-material resources, such as time or peace of mind. Be aware of the results of your actions, as well as what others might be doing behind your back. So be aware that someone might be trying to pull something over on you. Okay, so now let's see about this Ten of Spring. Let's clarify the Ten of Spring. We have here the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Something's changing. Something's moving. You should be, um, if you follow... You know, doing what you need to do here. You should be coming at a better time. Get rid of your burdens here. And we have here, see again, the Nine of Swords. Someone's worried about something. And with the Nine of Swords, it's like <sighs> insomnia, victim mentality, clouded judgment, not seeing things clearly. And the King of Swords is very clear. Okay, what about the Strength card? So you might be fighting something that is right in your face that you need to um, uh, take care of and you're fighting it. You don't want to. Okay, we have here the full, a new beginning. Aries, Aquarius, energy. Take the leap of faith. Do something different. Do something new. And we have the Ace of Wands. Look, another Ace. The possibilities, that the um, opportunities are coming. But you need to embrace them, to um, be open to them, to accept them. The, way, the Ace of Wands is uh, new ideas. It's pursuing your dreams. It's a spark of inspiration. It's passion. It's desire. Okay, now let's see what the words are. What about the Page of Cups? Sincere. Will you love? Okay, so someone's coming in with a sincere love and they're going to ask you a question, Dark, but will you? What about this Knight of Swords? We have here Accused. A Tower. Aries, Scorpio, Energy, Southern Chakra, Surprise. And someone's accusing someone of something, but they, there's going to be a healing here. So maybe something's going to come out in the open. 
someone accusing someone something and then they'll be able to heal maybe it has to be addressed what about this king of swords cheater lust present okay so maybe someone around you at the present is just cheater and they're cheating for lust or they could be lusting for money they could be for anything here but they someone could be trying to cheat you out of something you know they could be trying in the present time they could be trying to cheat you out of money within you know the company or the business okay what about this pay to what i tell you, i'm still feel fired up by someone that is curating the chaos for themselves so they could get pity that's just i don't like when people do that past denying obsessed okay so something from the past someone's denying that they're obsessed over something that they can't let something go now this could be anything for it to do work it'd be love okay what about this queen of cups return present mystery okay so maybe someone's returning in the present but it's a mystery you're not expecting it or something's mysterious about it or someone's returning a present or someone's presenting someone with something of a return, but it's a mystery. Okay, if it makes sense to you, you'll know. I'm, it'll be for you. If it doesn't make sense, it's probably not yours. What about this Knight of Wands? We have together. Want something hidden. Almost feels like someone's hidden. They're hiding that they want to be together with you. Okay, what about this King of Swords? We have here career. Likely contact. Oh, so someone's going to contact you likely about a, some kind of proposition for a career. Something new, something different. What about this page of pentacles? We have mature apology. Okay, so someone's going to actually mature and be more mature and apologize for some kind of insult okay what about this page of wands instigate karma in the end so in the end someone's instigating something and it's going to bring them karma because they're going to get back what they put out wow this felt like a little bit of a tough read sorry guys but someone really had to um Get out of their pity party. And I know that's only for a couple people. I'm so sorry about that. But someone really needs to be drummed into them. <laughs> I don't know. That's what my guys were pushing at me. So I had to be um, pushing it because they kept on telling me. They, they need to know. They need to know that this is not real. They're creating this. Okay. So let's see what signs you could be dealing with. Cancer. Sagittarius, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, so let's give placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Cancer, Sagittarius, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, now for the letters. We do. 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have Y, K, I, Q, J, H, Z, M, and my Z just turned to L. So if you need an L, it's there. Okay, M, H, G, P. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are Y, K, I, Q, J, H, C, M, H, G, P. Okay, now let's do 11 or more names for you guys. What names? Oh, whoa. Somebody just fell on the floor. Oh. Where they go? Which way do they go? Okay. Here we go. Okay. 
And these we have here are Adriana, A N D R I A N A. We have Aneta, A N E T T A, Jordan, J O R D E N. And we have Hope and Vernon, V E R N O N. <coughs> and then we have <coughs> Alicia, A L I C I A, Anum, A N U M. Thomas Blanca, B L A N C A, Hardeep, A R D I P, and we have Cerdy, C E R D Y, and Jessica. Okay, so there are 12 names. Now remember, guys, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. Oop, I have one more that fell. Um, Sierra, C E A R R A. Okay. So remember, guys, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other place. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, donations. Um, The super thanks. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.